Hello everyone, I'm David Wanunu and I work as Client Service Director at Razorfish France. And I'm David Vitez and I work as Technical Director at Razorfish France. After more than a century of existence, Renault has decided to open his first museum, The Originals. And to do so, they have requested Razorfish France knowledge and expertise in digital to help them to bring into life. If you ask me to describe the project in one sentence, I can say that Razorfish France has designed, built and market a 100% virtual museum for Renault in order to reconnect with fans and instill uh, the brand heritage in pop culture. In order to reproduce realistic iconic car models that are part of the emblematic Renault collection, we have leveraged an innovative mix of technologies called 3D photogrammetry, which is a combination of high resolution photography and 3D modeling rendering. This is the first time for a car manufacturer to digitalize its own collection in the virtual world. And this has been an amazing journey for Renault and Razorfish to achieve this matter. What was the most interesting part of this project is how we have reconnected the museum with the business strategy. In order to do so, we have designed an integrated experience where the original museum goes hand in hand with the eShop, the original store. In fact, all museum vis visitors, fans, car enthusiasts can buy merchandise at the same time they discover the cars without any friction in their digital journey. And to give the highest digital experience to many visitors in the world, the original museum was launched in six languages, gathering more than 30 vehicles to discover, including more than 400 merchandise to buy. Last but not least, all this project was built in less than six months. And that has been a very big challenge for Renault team and Razorfish team. And I think we can be very proud of us. Yeah, very proud. From the beginning, the objective was to get a very high level of immersion regarding the experience and no boundaries from creative perspective. Yes, and to do so, we needed to have a full control on the front end with no restrictions due to the usage of a tool or another. That's why we choose the headless approach and why it makes sense in this context. That being said, we needed to find the right tool to achieve our targets, the right headless CMS. And we choose Storyblock for many reasons. First, time to market. We already have bench Storyblock in the past and we knew we could get access, configure and test pages very quickly. And that's what happened. We were able to build the page in the CMS, connect our applications to Storyblock API and content within a short amount of time and evaluate what we were doing. The way Storyblock manages content and content types using blocks is also very intuitive and comprehensive for non-technology users. The user interface is also pretty straightforward and Renault users are able to contribute and manage their content without external help and we will talk about that later. Last but not least, Visual Editor a native and great feature allowing users to preview their content modifications directly in Storyblock with very few configuration on our side to make it work. This is one of the greatest constraints in the headless CMS world, mm -hmm. not being able to see your modifications on front-end side in the tool, and Storyblock provides a solution. In the coming months, we plan to grow this project with different assets. First, we plan to add a new iconic car model to discover up to 80 in 2022. We plan to launch new services connected to Renault Classic model ownership. We plan also to integrate brand new merchandise in the eShop. And finally, we plan to produce new lifestyle content for social media to engage our Renault fans and visitors. As Razorfish does for all platform projects across our clients, we have built a comprehensive document to allow Renault Museum and eShop teams to take over easily and quickly and operate Storyblock on their own to its full potential. We have done a two hours training session with our clients where we have gone through our documentation and demonstrated how Storyblock is easy to use and immediate to take on. In order to ensure that the training can be shared with new people on the Renault side, we have recorded the sessions and made it available to our clients. Talking about future is always a good thing with Renault. In fact, from its origin, 
Renault is an innovative oriented company that allows us always to talk about futures and latest trends. Therefore, we can work very closely with the marketing team and propose the latest innovation and technologies to deliver the best customer digital experiences. For the coming months and years, we will explore new areas with Renault, working on new digital experiences, such as websites, apps, physical, digital, motor show, and social media. We will also explore Web3 application. What is the purpose of Renault in the new world of NFT or metaverse? Thinking about new immersive car discovery experiences in digital and a lot of more. We hope we have enjoyed our session. Thanks a lot for your time. Thanks again. And feel free to contact us directly for any requests or questions. Bye. <laughs>